what is going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overlord here we're gonna be talking about scream 7 in this video here today we're gonna to be going over this update regarding a rumored cast member who's been making the rounds for about a week or two at this point now daniel rpk has thrown his name into the mix of it because he's saying he's heard or been able to confirm that mckenna grace is in fact in talks to star in scream 7 in some capacity now the rumors surrounding mckenna's involvement is that she is starring as Sydney Prescott's daughter. Before I go any further, just off of that choice alone, I can't say that that's a poor choice. The biggest thing that sticks out to me that reminds me of Nev when I look at McKenna is the smile. Nev has a wonderful smile and so does McKenna. It's a smile that reminds me of Nev's smile. So I feel like Sydney's daughter should have that wonderful smile. So McKenna herself being cast as the daughter of Sydney Prescott, that smile would be the biggest thing that convinces me of it. People have been saying, oh, she would need to dye her hair. I don't fully agree. She has put out on her TikTok page that she's dyed her hair in some capacity, but she's also supposed to be shooting another movie in March, which is ironically right around the time Scream 7 is supposed to finish filming. So perhaps the dyed hair is not only going to be for what the film she has planned to shoot in March, but also for Scream 7. So we'll just have to wait and see if anything comes of that because this is still not confirmed. The only other piece of evidence pointing towards this is the fact, well, not evidence, but the only thing that points towards this becoming a reality is the fact that she does follow Kevin Williamson on Instagram. A few of you have pointed out to me she started doing this recently. Now, the last time a star was rumored to be in talks more recently, and I guess another prior time, <laughs> that star responded, the YouTuber responded, Lucia, I think her name was, and she's completely confused about it. So I don't think McKenna's going to be doing that. If it doesn't end up being true, I don't see McKenna going down the same path. But a part of me does think this is going to end up being true. One other aspect that convinces me McKenna is going to be involved with Scream 7 is because she was at a event a few weeks ago. I'll leave a link to the video in the description. And shout out to UK for sending it my way. It was about a few weeks ago where it was a Ghost Ghostbusters panel. And I guess they were asking her what her favorite movies are. She made it apparent that Scream was her favorite movie of all time. I believe those were her exact words. So knowing that, knowing also she has met several stars from Scream already. I couldn't see her refusing the opportunity. Not up front. I could not see her not at least entertaining this. It's a big opportunity for her. Yes, the circumstances are not what I would prefer them to be, but it is what it is. McKenna herself is an up and coming, up and coming talent. I've gone over rumored details about Tatum or Taylor, whatever her name ends up being, how she's been in a relationship with Brian for over a year, hasn't told Brian that she loves her or that she loves him. Brian is frustrated about this. Taylor wants to have sex with Brian, but Brian is convinced she's just trying to check a box. I've gone over all of that in another video I posted earlier this week. So I think McKenna could be a wonderful choice to bring these emotions within a rebellious youth to life because everything I've seen her in, she's been phenomenal. She's been in the Conjuring universe. She recently was in uh, Ghostbusters. She's again, I've pointed out she's got a history of playing mini me's. That's the thing I know her most for. I think she was in Sabrina at one point too, the Netflix show or the Netflix version of Sabrina that was connected to Riverdale, which was an awful choice. But yeah, I think McKenna would be a fabulous addition to the Scream franchise. And while there may be some polarizing thoughts about it, the way everything is right now with Scream 7, the fact of the matter remains, these people during those strikes told us that opportunities were drying up. They told us what they were fighting for. They wanted their their fair wages and all these other things and to be protected from AI. So on the flip side of this now, coming on the other side of the strikes, talent is going to do projects. The circumstances are not what we all want them to be, but it is what it is. And like we all know, when it comes to how they lost Jenna Ortega, this would be a very wise decision to pull the trigger on if you're able to get her on because she would appeal to the Gen Z crowd. She's right around the same age. Well, not the same age. Jenna was 17 when they were shooting Screen 5, I think. But McKenna, of course, is a year older. She's 18. And yeah, 
she will have that appeal for people depending on how they market her when it comes to her pay, playing Sydney's daughter if that ends up being her role she could end up being someone else altogether but Daniel RPK is saying he's heard that she's in talks to star in Scream 7 so we'll see what comes of that we'll see if any reputable trades start reporting on it I just wanted to share my thoughts on the announcement because I don't think McKenna is a bad choice at all I myself have not heard anything about McKenna though the only thing I have been able to pinpoint that would point this being something that could come to fruition is her statements about Scream being her favorite movie of all time the fact that she follows Kevin on Instagram and she's already met some talent from the project she has a, she has a picture i think of her nev rose mcgowan at some event where mckenna has met the scream stars already so it's not out of the realm of possibility that she would not entertain an opportunity to be a part of the franchise that she claims holds the favorite movie of all time to her and i'm assuming that's the original scream i think mckenna would knock it out of the park i think this would make up for the loss of jenna i'm not saying that jenna I'm not saying McKenna is a bigger star than Jenna. What I'm getting at, though, is that you could entertain this as your new Gen Z appeal to a degree, depending on the other talent you're bringing in, which I also would imagine are going to be around the age of Gen Z individuals who you can market to pull them in. Like I said, Scream 7's biggest downfall could be if its budget is obnoxiously high. If you have a Scream film that's being produced for 60 million or more, you're setting yourself up for a disaster. They seem to be going for the cheap route, like they always do, possibly even cheaper than five and six. If they can keep it cheap, Spyglass is going to keep it cheap. Even though McKenna has been in some blockbusters, the most recent one being again being that Ghostbusters movie, she's not going to be getting paid the biggest check compared to someone like Nev, Courtney, Patrick, if he signed. So we'll just have to wait and see what comes of that. As far as like what you guys think McKenna will be doing in Scream 7, do you think she would be a wonderful fit for the role of Sydney Prescott's daughter? Or do you think she should just be another random teen character that bites the dust? I myself do think that this would be a wise choice for her to be Sydney's daughter, only because that's the only option I've heard of so far right now. However, when it comes to Sydney's daughter, I hope she is not going to inherit the trauma that her mother has dealt with for all of these years and fight to overcome i don't want to see that i don't want to see that outcome in scream 7 i want to see a contained narrative a narrative that tells a story of a daughter being rebellious ghostface strikes proves to the daughter that her mother was right in some degree very similar to halloween 2018 yes i know i've seen everybody talk about that but then keep it contained like that. Don't stretch it out to the daughter going to college and Ghostface is after the daughter at college. If you want to keep some sort of connective tissue, pass it on to one of the daughter's friends. That's what I prefer to see. Pass it on to one of the daughter's friends. Although, like I stated, McKenna has stated she's a big fan of Scream. She'd be giddy to probably carry the torch forward into a Scream 8, 9, 10. Who knows what else? Let me know what you guys think about this down in the comment section below. If you haven't already, of course, make sure you subscribe. Turn on post notifications. You never miss a video. In the description, I'll have links to all my social media accounts. I'm on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can message me there, of course. Let me know if there's any movies, news, or reviews you want me to cover in the future. And with all that in mind, guys, I will see you in the next video.